Welcome. This video is about how to set a GE rotary limit switch, presented through the cooperation of J.R. Clancy and the North Carolina School of the Arts Department of Stage Automation. The GE rotary limit switch is comprised of several key elements. Two limits for over travel, two limits for normal travel, four rocker arms, a central rotating cam stack, and a worm gear drive shaft. Rotation of the worm gear drive shaft spins the central cam stack. As the cam stack rotates, lobes on the cam slices cause the rocker arms to trip the limit switches at set positions. The limit switches then send an electrical signal to the control device. Here we see an exploding view of the rotary limit switch. Notice the four limit switches, the four rocker arms, the components of the central cam stack, and the worm gear drive shaft. We see on the upper cam stack slice a white marker. This marker indicates the position of the lobe that causes the rocker arm to trip the limit switch. This graphic is a map locating components on the GE rotary limit switch, available in PDF format from the JR Clancy website. To begin the limit adjustment process, we will need several required tools. One medium insulated flathead screwdriver, and one small insulated flathead screwdriver. Care should be taken to avoid the contacts on the switch as they are live and carry control voltage. Begin by removing the cover to the limit switch. Drive the winch until the load reaches inbound or outbound normal travel spike. As the winch drives, note the rotation of the cam stack. Refer to your wiring diagram located under the cover to the limit switch to discover over travel limit for the given direction. Always begin by setting over travel limits before normal travel limits. In this instance, we can see the cam stack rotating as our load, in this case a sandbag, travels, or jogs, towards its inbound spike. We have selected to set our inbound limits first. The over travel limit should be set to the point before load encounters collision or misalignment. Begin by driving the load to just before the over travel limit position. Loosen the cam stack clamping screws and begin adjustment. Caution should be taken when setting over travel limits because of increased gear ratios. Small adjustments can be cause for a potential misalignment. For this example, we have chosen to jog our load to just before it touches the floor. Loosen the cam stack clamping screws one half turn. Use the pinion that is located clockwise to the switch to then adjust the cam stack slice. When the lobe contacts the switch, an audible click will be heard. Complete the process by tightening the cam stack clamping screws. Continue by driving the load away from the limit that was just set. Test the limit setting by driving the load back towards the over travel limit. Remember that caution should be taken when setting over travel limits. Always be ready with several spotters watching the load and someone manning the emergency stop. In this instance, we have unfortunately set the limit to a position where the load has become misaligned. As we have encountered a misalignment, we must go back and readjust the limit to stop the load just a little sooner. Remember that it will take some time to get the limit adjusted properly. Now that the over travel limit has been set correctly, we can set the normal travel limit. Ensure that the normal travel limit is set to stop the load just before the over travel limit. To complete the limit adjustment process, drive winch from one end of travel to opposite end of travel. Again, remember that proper limit adjustment can take time. With load behaving properly, reattach the limit switch cover and test both directions of movement one final time. As a reminder, this documentation and hard copy versions are available from www.jrclancy.com.